just start to wear really. Uh, so some of the quotes from the young people. Um, one young person said, I thought I was well prepared, but it was a lot different from what, from what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be the same. And I think her doctors are trying to reassure her that in adult services, you'll see doctors, you'll see nurses, you'll get the joint injections, you'll get all your medication. So she thought adult services are gonna be exactly the same as children's services. And in there trying to reassure her, they actually set up a false sense of, of expectation that it wouldn't be the same. Um, so she said, I wish they'd be more honest. It wasn't a transition, uh, just one step from another. Um, I wish I'd met adult doctors before I moved in. I thought it was brilliant in the Netherlands for the adult rheumatologist and the pediatric rheumatologist were in the same um, cons consultation with the young people. I wish the children and adult doctors had been in the same room at the same time. Um, they had one of the people had a bad needle phobia and that information wasn't passed on, so um, the adult doctors then didn't understand. Um, it was scary at first, but I had plenty of time to ask questions, and I think lots of young people said that, that, that time to ask questions and have those questions answered mattered. Um, I was worried about something going wrong, it wasn't something I had ever done before, and I think we think of children and young people as having transitioned from schools, and maybe done various transitions, but they've never done this transition before. Everything is firsts and new, and that that's done thing. Um, quick, so parent perspective, uh, parents worrying about that their children wouldn't keep complying with medication and um, once they transitioned, part of that was the fear of the parent that they were losing control. Um, uh, but I think it was also that it's that trust in the young person whether that they would continue with, with taking it. Um, parents admitting that it's hard to relinquish control even though they need to, um, you're never told how hard it's going to be. Uh, it's an unsettling time of change anyway, and I think some of the presentations touched on that, that you know, 16 to 18, you're leaving school, you're just figuring out who you are, and suddenly all of this transition at the same time. So it's a time where there's lots going on anyway. The need for it to be seamless, um, sometimes I don't think they, I think they mean medical, I think they as medical professionals, uh, how much both parents and young people are psychologically affected. Um, but also there's a real sense of good relationships with paediatric rheumatologists and that young people say that, that their confidence is going to be in hand because the relationships are so good with, with those that they're with now. Um, and the real challenge of breaking relationships with paediatric rheumatologists. And generally feeling a bit of lack of support with parents. So that's me, I won't take up any more of your time. No, we'll keep you here. Okay. 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 Okay